ready. I can't wait. I can't wait. Alrighty, now we're gonna go ahead and kick it off. Starting off with the power waves. Sweet D going with the Toon Link as well. Doesn't want to go Captain Falcon in this matchup, knowing his other character does have a significantly better matchup here. Oh, it actually ends up SD. Oh, wow. Super unfortunate SD for Sweet D right at the beginning of the game. I think he might have forgot that he used his double jump and just couldn't recover from where he was at. Honestly, we were surprised. Brawler G, though, still getting on all this extra percent. Tries to hit him out of the tether with his down air, but wasn't quite quick enough. Brawler G is using the neutral air a lot. Uh, it's really fast, really good hitbox on it. And you see, every time Brawler G goes in the air, especially above Toon Link, he starts doing a lot of crack shoots and other uh, moves just to kind of mix up where he's going to land. Knowing that Toon Link's ground speed is really, really fast, actually, and reads the roll in from Brawler G with the up smash. Uh, it looked like it would have definitely covered both regular get up and roll in, so that was a smart play. Good get up attack, relieving himself of the pressure from the ledge. But the parry on the up B straight into F smash, and right now Brawler G is up two stocks to one. But we'll see if Sweet D can go ahead and seal this sooner than later. Uh, good up B out of shield as well. And that's what I was talking about a while ago. William had really good DI on that up throw to bomb, uh, avoiding the bomb, but Brawler G not quite figuring out that DI yet, falling right into the trap for the extra damage. And there it is again. You got to be careful whenever you're approaching Toon Link's shield. It's a super, super fast, really good up B out of shield that really gives Toon Link an incredible advantage in the neutral if it lands. The patience from Brawler G though, good punish on that up B. It is really low lag, so the fact that he got that punish was really good. Goes for the power guys are trying to two frame the Toon Link. Up air not quite gonna uh, kill. Terry is pretty heavy. I want to say he's about the same weight, if not heavier, than Captain Falcon. But all of that smoke everywhere, just Sweet D hiding in it all, getting that straight forward air to seal that. Uh, but now Sweet D is at 120%. He needs to look to, you know, get something started soon. But the down tilts right now, keeping Sweet D off stage, finally getting back. And it seems like he cannot seem to stay out of the corner right now. Brawler G just putting on the pressure. Good shield on the F smash. Definitely wouldn't have killed, but it would have relieved him some pressure and got him some damage. And right there, he does get a bomb confirm. Sweet D just getting the damage where he can. Playing his last stock exactly like he should be. Oh, but right there, the, his own bomb became the bane of his existence blowing up allowing Terry to get that back air for the win game one I'm hearing in the back though we do have these players laughing you know we're here to have a good time we're all friends here it's crazy plays sometimes but Sweet D almost running it all the way back from that early SD they're running the back yeah, the run back. The run I think back. Brawler G's trying to go all Terry all night. Heard that. His Terry's doing incredibly well. Just the conditioning that he puts on the opponent, uh, it allows him to get crazy down tilt to jab pressure. And then he knows exactly what he needs to do with Terry, especially because once you dwindle that shield down, you can actually do jabs on shield to bring it down more and get shield pokes with the... Um, you can get shield pokes with power dunk. Done. Right now, this game looking definitely different from the first one. Good anti-air from Sweet D as well with the up smash. Right now, Brawler G getting some damage of his own. Ooh, when Jab went to Power Guys or Sweet D though, the knowledge, knowing that isn't true, is going to get away from that. 
and that power dunk coming in handy as a recovery mix up, but Sweet D sealing it out with the up air, poking him right in the feet. Tries to chase with the rising tackle, but Sweet D uses the bombs, uh, throws him below him to cover himself. Really, really smart plays. Brawler G going for the punish on the up beat, but gets hit by the last hit. Sweet D playing really well right now. He is at 130%. Definitely could be killed soon. Uh, but just the amount of pressure that he's putting on with all the projectiles, as well as his recovery options, have been really superb as well in this match. Um, just getting all this extra credit on Brawler G right now. It says winner's semis, but I do believe this is winner's finals. Oh, never my fault. Good call, Alex. So this is a 3 out of 5, there's plenty of time to adapt and change, um, but Sweet D making the adaptations he needed as well as being able to have that first stock this game is definitely helping him out. Back throw not quite going to kill yet, even with all of that rage on Young Link. And there it is, the, it looked like the boomerang allowed him to confirm into the up air. Still holding on to his first stock as well at 162. Any, t any type of move hits Young Link or Toon Link, I apologize. Like that hard knuckle right there is going to seal it out. But I was just about to say, anything hits, Terry could convert into a kill move. Brawler G is at 85%, has a lot of work to do. Oof, thought he had the read on that up smash there, but Brawler G, uh, using that forward air to his advantage, it has such a deceptively small hitbox. Um, it looks small, but it's super, super big. It's like way bigger than his foot actually is, honestly. But using the bomb to convert into up B straight off ledge, not going to kill, but right there, converts off the bomb into forward air, allowing Sweet Deed to go up a game, bringing it to an even set right now. That was great adaptations from Sweet D, good patience, uh, playing with the projectiles more than going in, as well as covering himself whenever Terry tried to approach from the air. Terry doesn't have any disjoints, so that up smash and up tilt definitely come in handy for Toon Link. But it looks like Brawler G, or VGG, Video Game Gabriel, is going to stick it out with the Terry. Uh, maybe he has some tricks of his own. He knows the adaptations he needs to make. He is a very high caliber player, so we'll see how this goes. Right off the bat, does get some good damage. No conversion off of the jabs, though. Using the power wave to negate the arrow there. I wonder if Power Wave also takes care of Boomerang. Good parry. Getting some damage. Catches the landing with the forward air and then catches another landing with the upbeat. This game is looking way more even than last game was at the beginning. Started getting some neutral air strings there but no kill conversion off of it. Holds the up smash, hoping for a shield drop. Both of these players are playing incredibly patient at the moment. I've seen a few times where they just kind of run up and hold shield in front of each other's faces. There's so many traps coming out from Sweet D as well. All the bombs all over the place is just covering so much, making it hard for Brawler G to find a good landing place. But right there, the jabs are going to convert into the invincible rising tackle to net him a kill. Tries to hit a wave bounce with the boomerang. Would have been a really nice read for Sweet D. Tries to hit an upbeat, but there's not a whole lot of lag on 
uh, Terry's, I believe that was a forward air. So it did allow him to be able to escape the upbeat and get a proper punish. But right now, Sweet D needs to be looking to take this stock soon. Terry is at 168, Sweet D being at 77. Go meter is really, really scary, but doing exactly what he needed to do there, finally taking care of that stock, not allowing, um, not allowing BGG to get any kind of crazy shenanigans off with the Power Geyser or the Buster Wolf. Good wall jump there and the wave bounce. The uh, the crazy recovery mix-ups coming out from Sweet D is doing him a lot of justice, allowing him to get back to the stage. But Brawler G, we've seen him do it a lot already, even in this game here. Just the amount of pressure he puts on that ledge, it's so hard to find a way to get around. Tries to set up a trap with the bomb. Air dodges away from the rising tackle as well. That's a good down air. And the hard knuckle is going to take the stock. Sweet D is down 2-1 to one on stocks right now. But Brawler G is at a pretty decent percent. So if Sweet D can stay patient, he could definitely get a kill soon. And not allow... Oh! But right there goes right through the projectiles with Buster Wolf. And as I was saying just a second ago, Sweet D was doing an incredible job at being patient. Um, but right now, it seems like Brawler G is figuring it out and just racking up some damage here. Unfortunate though, messes up his recovery mix-up and SDs for it. Bringing it back to an even stock game, but not in percent at all. And reads the air dodge with the F smash. Good catch on the landing from BGG to seal him a game too. Like I said, both of these players really, really good at just adapting throughout the set. So we could probably expect a game five out of these players. Looks like we're gonna go ahead and see a Battlefield match. This can go one of two ways. I've seen some crazy stuff come out from Terry on Battlefield. He does have some ladder combos similar to Mario, um, but they are very easily DI-able, so we'll see if Sweet D can make sure to have the good, good DI and not get caught up in the shenanigans. Right now, though, you see starting it off early, Sweet D trying to avoid a lot of that crazy cancel pressure, but it seems to be going Seems to be going Video Game Gabriel's way here. Power dunk coming out. Bringing up to the platform as well, not allowing him to DI at all. We do see a go meter come out from Terry right now. The bomb to fair isn't going to kill at mid-stage for Sweet D. That was a super good arrow from Sweet D as well. And he power guys her in the wrong direction. He is still living though. At 150%. Does a get up and straight into power geyser. It does have some slight armor. But SDs off of the fact that he wasn't able to grab ledge from hard knuckle. There is the power dunk, getting him some good damage. Sweet D at 74%, 85 now. And climbing. Good DI on the up airs. Doesn't want to get caught up in a rising tackle, especially that high uh, on Battlefield. Catches the roll though with the up smash. Toon Link is really, really good at covering ground options and aerial approaches due to his amazing ground speed, as well as his really, really good... Um, Anti-airs like up tilt and up smash. Tries to get the rising tackle, but he spot dodges out of the way of it. Really smart. Rising tackle definitely kills, especially at these kinds of percents. Strategically placing that bomb on the platform. There's the explosion. No conversion off of it. 
It was really smart of Sweet D to just hold on to that bomb and allow it to blow up on Brawler G. It's just unfortunate he couldn't convert off of it, but Brawler G soon after um, getting a kill that he needed. We do see Go Meter right now. Tries to get the Buster Wolf, but he air dodges after jab too. Good aerial mix up from Brawler G. Buster Wolf not going to kill just yet, but another one of those is definitely going to kill. Tries to get the hard knuckle read and he loses Go Meter for it. That was super unfortunate, but we're seeing a really, really scary game right now. Sweet D is at 126%. This could be his last stock of the match. It's the bomb. Here's some good damage coming. One eighty five now. Rology not able to find the kill yet. It's a tether. There's the up B, but is it gonna get punished? Forward tilt. Toon Link at two hundred and ten percent and still living. Is this throw gonna kill? Yeah, those pummels allowed him to have just enough damage to be able to kill with that back throw. Good stuff to video game Gabriel. Sealing that game and taking it to where now he is on winner's side of bracket in grand finals. Someone is going to have to come from losers.